is it like hot in my room? Oh my god. Just gotta make sure. Probably should actually refresh this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, back to Sonic 3. <clears throat> I think it's that one. We should be finishing this one tonight. Yeah, we, uh, we just made it to Mystic Palace Zone. Which honestly, I remember like nothing about this zone at all. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this one. I do remember this one entirely because of its aesthetics. added a weird, like, oddly holy aesthetic to the ending of it, as you'll see with us moving forward. Oh man, like ten whole rings, thanks. Oh shit. Alright, that's nice. Like what, 122 rings out of that? Ah, it's nipples! Poor dude. Straight up getting bullied. So glad we'll never see that guy again, right? Oh, you finally remembered your password? I'm proud of you. <laughs> I have that problem with Twitch a lot too, for some reason. Oh my god! We just got an x-ray of Knuckles and I did not like what I saw. for a Genesis game. Oh, right. Sky Sanctuary. Oh. Ooh. This is the beginning of the end of Sonic and Knuckles. 
fact, this is actually Knuckles' final level. Uh, if you were to choose to play through the game as him. And it's also typically the level Sega... Oh. It's the, it's the Eggman Death Star. Yeah, I'm certain that's its name. Anyways, this is normally the level Sega chooses uh, when they want to uh, represent this game in other Sonic games. Like, you know, um, generations and such. Just because this is, like, one of the prettiest levels in the game. Anticlimactic introduction of a villain for the series. This is Mecha Sonic. No, not Metal Sonic. Mecha Sonic. A uh, completely different character. Do not steal. Man, I'm dying a lot in this level. Oh boy, and there hasn't been any checkpoints. Trust your level design. Always. Not Metal Sonic, yeah. Original the character, do not steal. This is Mecha Sonic? He's like Metal Sonic, but. Uh, there's one instance in the series where you can see them standing separate from each other, so they are uh, different characters. That's like the base. Uh, reason why I know these are different characters. It's like the first boss, but more lazy. Oh my god. 100% was not expecting him. Yeah, I will point out that moment. Oh. I never should have entered this fucking special stage. Triple bar, please. Oh, uh, that's something. using this thing. <laughs> it might overshoot me and kill me. Okay, 
wait a minute, we fought this thing before. It's Balloon Mechasonics! sample uh, Genesis bosses for us, I guess. So after this game, Jesus chat laptop, please wake up. Oh my god, it like straight up like went to sleep, went to sleep. Holy shit. After just like a couple seconds of just sitting here. Alright, give me one moment, I'm going to plug in the chat laptop because it's being a little bitch baby right now. And of course, it wants me to refresh Twitch. Can I just uh, go on record saying that I fucking despise Windows 10? Like, not even, like, I kind of despise it, like, I actively very much so hate Windows 10. I guess I came from here. Alright. Spin on the laptop to let it know I'm the alpha. Yeah, sure. Uh, will do when I feel like ruining my laptop. What? Knew that was coming. Okay. Oh, that just ah. Uh. All right. All right. The last checkpoint? No! Okay. When that thing propelled me forward, I had a minor panic attack because I was like, oh no. I don't know where I'm going to stop or if I'm going to stop. gonna like land facing me like last time and then he just kind of took off towards me oh well, at least there is a uh, a checkpoint literally right next to this boss and he 
get to get that again. I think I'm I'm expecting like more build up time to that than he actually gives me. God, this boss is like really mean. Anytime he lands backwards, I need to, like, jump over him immediately. Nope. Again, I was expecting him to turn towards me, and he didn't. That one he turns towards me. Got it. Hooray! Bye bye, Mecha Sonic, and we'll only ever see you one other time. That time is not near now, by the way. Awesome Death Egg Zone! This is the final zone of Sonic and Knuckles. This zone introduces a ton of staples of Final Sonic levels throughout the series. So, uh, you're gonna- oh god. Nope! You're gonna notice, um, some things in later games and you're gonna think, Wow, that's just like that time Sonic and Knuckles did it. options for what we can do next. We can either start diving into some of the spin-offs. Yes, welcome to the Death Star. Uh, but we can start doing some of the spin-offs. Um, we can start uh, hitting some of the Game Gear games. Those are interesting. We could jump into Sonic 4 so I can immediately show off how terrible that one is. Why I entered this. I guess. Oh my god. Sure. 
gets egg storage. Yeah, this is where he keeps all his eggs. Duh, they don't call him Eggman for nothing. This is just Sonic versus the grocery industry. If you order, if you order an Egg McMuffin in front of Sonic, this is what he does to you. Uh, he tracks down your home and kills you. Oh my god. What? Come on. I can do this. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not taking that. I know I have a rewind button. <laughs> there. I don't want a game over right before a checkpoint. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, what is this? I hate this. <laughs> oh, I have to hit all of the, the buttons on that thing. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna puke. Please. No! How do you hit the top ones? <laughs> I feel sick. Oh. This feels bad. I want out of this. I want off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Yes! Finally! <laughs> oh, thank God that's over! <laughs> oh God. tell myself, no, do not go for the thing. Oh, it's this! So, you can hit this guy. Uh... Only when the things are down? And even then, there's not really all that much for you to, like, recover from it. And then those things pop up and they, uh, they attack. But as long as you can keep juggling the same ring, you'll be fine! Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> there we go. Okay, good. That boss... Is not dead. Oh! Oh, stop! <laughs> Please. Thank you, Tails. Tails, thank you. I refuse. 
use the game over in here. <laughs> Trust me, we're gonna be needing all of the continues we can get for the final battle. Speaking of which, we're like almost there. Yeah. I want the stuff. What? The controls are indeed reversed here. Or like, up it. Why did it start moving? I'm not on! Tails! He's moving it! I want on Mr. Bones' wild ride, Jesus! how short of a hop they were expecting from me right there. You're telling me that a lightning shield is not lightning resistant, but a water bubble is bullet resistant? Okay. Was about to ask how we're supposed to get across this, and the game eventually delivered. Oh. Stage is so stressful. <laughs> are we almost to the end? Please tell me we are. Right? 
Okay, yeah, we're at the end. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save state this boss. Uh, when you started the stage, my phone slid in between the bed and the whole wall! <laughs> Truly, this level is cursed. Everything about it. What? Ah. What? Uh. What? I don't know how to hit this boss. Take the game over. We still have five continues! Oh my god. <laughs> I would like a little more. Okay, that's good enough for rinse. Now that I understand how this boss works, I should have a much easier time damaging him. Children. guys bounce me. Like, that makes literally no sense. <laughs> oh, sick! Is it gonna consider it clear? Yes! Alright, final stage! This is the final boss of Sonic 3. Honestly, I cite this one as the first ridiculous boss fight in the series, because fucking look at this.
I know for a fact you can kill him by doing this. I brought tails, by the way. Alright. Oh shit. Uh, now... I wanna actually show this fight. There's another, like, boss fight after this one. You can, yeah, you can go in for another hit after that. We are at nine minutes spent in this level. The game is about to kill us. a save state just in case. God, the platform's still falling. <laughs> Anyways, this is where the game cuts off if you don't have all of the chaos emblems. However, once you have all of them, this happens.
right, the rules for this level, uh, you can fly. A speeds you up. Um, keep collecting rings because they drain constantly, and if you run out, you die. However, you are invincible to most forms of damage. You just get, like, knocked around a bit. Which in turn prevents you from picking up more rings and consumes time. And as we go on, you'll discover this kind of fight is fairly common. But this was the first time that they ever did it, making it really cool. Alright, so the way this guy works is he releases these missiles, and you gotta manipulate them around so they run into his face. Basically, just make a bunch of circles around him. The challenge, of course, being that he doesn't drop any rings. Ever. Oh, come on. Okay. This is actually a pretty good time for... Uh, the final phase, which does drop rings. Yeah, there's plenty of rings in this part of the level. Come on, come on, come on. I need rings. Give me a big pack of, like, six of them. up even, like, one part of this means you have to do the whole thing over again, sadly. Pretty cool. Okay, 50 rings going into the final phase, I'd say we're doing pretty good.
Awesome. Well, that was Sonic 3. That was the, uh, the first big, bad final boss in the series. The first of many, of course. You see, where other platformers kind of moved on from the idea of, oh, if you collect these MacGuffins, you get a special boss, um, Sonic never did. And thus, there's like a million and one supersonic bosses in these games. However, I can tell you with certainty, we will not be getting to the ones in Sonic Advance, sadly. Alright, well that was the end of the original trilogy as well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let the uh, credits play here. <laughs> I always walk away from Sonic 3 with really mixed feelings. Sonic 3... While I can admit a lot of it is solid, um, there's just some parts of it that like really don't sit right with me. Things like the final level being as stressful and scatterbrained as it is. Or some of the levels of Ant Knuckles being really poorly built. But at the same time, like, the game is just generally really fun to play, so... Kinda hard to say where my feelings on it fall. Oh well, we finished Sonic 3, so it's all... I was gonna say all downhill from here, but honestly, it's all over the place from here. So, what do you think we should do next? We could do Game Gear games. I have all the ROMs for those, although that would require a little bit of tweaking. Um, I don't think I own the Genesis spin-offs yet. Uh, at least not through this. I own physical copies and I own the Mega Collection. I would have to, uh, consult my, my list. Here, you know what? I'm gonna- Oh! Alt-tabbing out actually pauses the credits. Interesting. There's a lot of Game Gear games. Like, a lot of them. I was thinking of saving them for, like, a way later stream. Because I don't want to, like, rush any of them, because the Game Gear games are a breed all their own. Oh yeah, and there it is. There's the ending. Well, alright, here, let me take a look at my document real quick. There it is. Oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. I need... Uh, 
Okay. Um. So we've done three and knuckles now. Can't wait to get to Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm going to do like mini game spinoffs like that or not, or if I do, how much of them or how like much of the mini games in them we're going to do. Like I don't own any of the Olympic games, surprisingly. Uh, none of them have ever really fallen into my lap. If I get one, I will be sure to show off at least some of it. Um, but that'll be when we get there. All right, so we've got for the next games Sonic Spinball, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic 3D Blast, which uh, I'm just going to say straight up, not ready to stream any of these three. Uh, Spinball, I, I can get it through this emulator, so I'm going to. The problem is I don't own it currently. I would have to buy it for, like, I think it's, like, $5, which I'm not going to do on stream. Um, uh, mean Beam Machine, same reason. Uh, it exists in this emulator, and I'll buy it separately, probably in time for next stream. Um, and I'm just going to say right now, I make no promises of beating either of these games. Spinball is a pinball spinoff that plays about as hectically as you'd think. It's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever finished it. Um, Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is a... Believe it or not, is fucking Puyo Puyo. I, I have no idea why, but I'm terrible at Puyo, so I won't be doing it. And then Sonic 3D Blast, I'm actually missing a piece of hardware to be able to stream it, sadly. I really want to be able to stream it, but I am missing a um an adapter to be able to stream my Sega Saturn because I am not streaming the Genesis version of 3D Blast it's god awful um yeah that's pretty common most people here are terrible at Puyo Puyo just cuz it never gets localized and uh thus no one's heard of it or played it that is until the Switch game came out, and so suddenly everyone knows what it is. It's weird. Um, Alright, so we could do Knuckles Chaotix. Knuckles Chaotix is interesting, because it came out on the 32X, which is a 32-bit add-on to the Genesis. And it is the only good game on the 32X, so it's really expensive. The add-on is really expensive, and thus... It's kind of difficult to emulate, and Sega never re-released it. So, we'll see if I do that one. In fact, I'm going to check real quick, look through my Google Drive, see if I actually have the, um... Let me check real quick. It's this one. ROMs. I mean, I have all the Game Gear ROMs on my drive. Yeah, I don't have an, a ROM file for it currently. Um, what? What? Okay, um, well, I'm at least going to download the emulator here. Because I have it. Um, and then I'm gonna, let's see, Knuckles, Chaotix, Rum. Cool Rum's terrible. Uh, I believe Emu Paradise is still down. Yeah, they're still down. Sad. Um, see, this game's kind of tricky because no one really knows about it or talks about it at all. Except for the small handful of 32X um, people who uh, demand really high price. 
or prices for it. I don't know what ROM sites I can trust currently, honestly. Is ROM Hustler good? I have genuinely no idea. Here, I'll just see. Uh, ROM Hustler. Let's see if it's, uh, if it's good. See, I wouldn't have to do this if Sega... Oh, a lot of people are saying it's alright. Okay. Um, anyways, I wouldn't have to do this if Sega would just fucking release this game in any way that I could play it. Like, just put it on something, guys. Jesus. I get it, they don't like to acknowledge that the 32X exists. Uh, it's downloading a 7-zip. That seems to be alright. Oh my god. Believe it or not, the, uh, the culprit that's going to take forever currently is... Actually... Google. Amazing. Open with... I should have 7-zip installed. There we go. 7-zip open archive. There we go. Just, um... Where do I put ROM files on this computer? Games. Emulators. Here it is. Huh. Interesting. What's the name of the emulator I'm using? I'm probably just going to go get a direct download to it. Alright, yeah, Google definitely got stuck on something. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. It's working now. Just gonna grab these and drop it into emulator. Gotta extract it real quick. I am pretty sure I am done with the Mega Drive Classics collection. Hello, Robert Gunderson. Uh, we just finished Sonic 3, and I am trying desperately to set stuff up for Knuckles Chaotix. Uh, seem to be having some issues getting a ROM file, though. Um, we'll see if this one actually works. Open up Fusion. Uh, 32X. Ah! Video... Oh, is that really all it's gonna give me? Okay, well, I ab- ah! <laughs> oh, man. I love getting jump scared with my own computer's volume, it's great! Alright, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Frightened and also interested. Well, that is about how I described uh, Knuckles Chaotix. So, to show off the power of their new 32X, they decided to make 
a, a Sonic game. Oh my god, I'm, I'm muting this. Disable sound. Uh, they decided to make a Sonic game to really show how fast it can go. But um, there was a concept they were working on for uh, for the Genesis. And they were like, all right, let's take that concept and we're going to move it over here. And let's just give it like an interesting selling point. And the selling point they decided to give it was that they wanted Knuckles the star. And thus we got Knuckles Chaotix, where it's Knuckles and a bunch of new characters that we've never seen before. Um... Window capture, maybe? Uh, fusion... Oh, 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 we're getting something. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's... Hmm. I'll have to move it with that hand glider is basically in a straight line. You can't hope to gain much altitude with it. Also, I've played Knuckles. Yeah, but I figured I'd just give an, uh, a general explanation for those who don't know. Um, 1920 by 1080. And we're going to go ahead and hit full screen. And own oh, an actual 32x copy. Wow, I'm actually moderately jealous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gotta re-enable sound real quick. Um. Okay, still not quite ready. Uh, controls? I don't know where it puts it. Um, set config, controllers, controller, this is an older emulator, my Genesis is very finicky, especially if I can get a fuck, I can get it to run, yeah, my Mine has definitely seen better days, too. I don't own either of the, um, the, oh boy, up, down, left, right, one, two, start. Oh, wait, that's Master System. Heh. <laughs> Controller. There we go. 32X. <laughs> Oh wow, that's actually fucking terrible. Hold on. That is a very bad control setup. Up, down, left, right. A, B, C, start. Uh, X, Y, Z. Mode. There we go. Video, full screen. We should be good to start now. As I was saying, uh, this game functions off of a very bizarre mechanic that honestly kind of killed it critically for a lot of people. Uh, however, as you can see, it is quite a bit more advanced than anything we've played so far. But yeah, this is the Knuckles Chaotix lineup. I should probably preface this by saying, uh, I have never played through this game before in my life. <laughs> Ever. Basically a tech demo for the 32X. Yeah, no, it's a really cool tech demo. I'm kind of amazed this game wasn't bundled with the system. Probably would have sold a few more units if it had done that. A button comes in 
health partner. Oh yeah, that's in case they get stuck somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip it. All right, so that calls them. So if we have a rubber band between us at all times. Oh Jesus! That um. We can pull on uh, to run and sort of slingshot ourselves around. That is the mechanic of this game. This is ten rings, yeah. I need to reset up the controls. Uh, because currently call is set to A. Pick them up and throw them, which is another thing. Options have button configuration. Not sure how that'll work here. Eh, I have an emulator button configuration, so it should be fine. Yeah, no, this game is very hectic and ridiculous. <laughs> got some really cool stuff in it though, which is why I am uh, showing it. Oh, come on. I always forget that was good time on walls. It's isolated islands. Oh, interesting. It's a shame this game's like as expensive as, as it is because. I really do want to get a copy someday, but man, collectors want a lot for it. Granted, it's- oh my god. I would love to show off the demo of this game that leaked uh, Sonic Crackers, because it's very interesting. Up 
down, left, right, A, B, C, start, X, Y, Z, load. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Spin time. I am so small. See if I can move it somewhere. Oh, hey, I'm actually past the post. This game of Chaos Emeralds in it and special stages and stuff. All right, so each character has their own like stuff. We'll be seeing all of these characters later, except for him. It has chaos rings, so... Are they hard to collect, and are they required? <laughs> That's really all I have, that my only questions. I seem to remember special stages being in this, but I don't remember much about them. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna lean more towards either Mighty or Vector. I like them both. Sonic 1 and CD finish, they act for 50 minutes or more? Sure, alright. We'll have save states too, so I'll take it. Anyways, I'm leaning towards either Mighty or Vector. Only change the ending, no extra level or boss. Okay, cool. So I'll show them somewhat. I won't focus too much on them. Vector time. Okay, I'm going to move the um, set config controllers to find up, down, left, right. Button A is going to be Y this time. Uh, B, C, start. And X, Y, Z. There we go. The buttons are finally doing what I'm expecting. Anyways, uh, the way this game works is a little weird. Uh, each of these areas is picked at random. And kind of so is your partner. Which is why I kind of want to show them. But again, I'm not going to really focus too hard on it. I like Vector's personality in this game. It's cool. Okay, we get a kind of friendly looking level to start with. That's good. Certain. This is the music used in Sonic Crackers. Not quite. Yeah, no, uh, so all of these characters except for Mighty came back in Sonic Heroes. Mighty was just left out for no reason, not even like a cameo appearance. What the fuck is that? 
Anyways, uh, Mighty was left out without even so much as a cameo, uh, until they let a fan create his own game, which was Mania, and then the fan was like, screw you, I'm including the characters, uh, from the arcade game, and Mighty was one of them. Touch that. All right, sure. Oh, Vector is a double jump. That's how that works. I think Mighty entered the special stage and I didn't. Alright, so this stage is apparently Techno Tower. Oh my god! Four blue spheres to go. Cool! 
mighty jump into a wall while holding forward and hold jump. Quickly release the button to wall jump in any direction you choose. Oh my god. So mighty's a wall jumper. That's actually really cool. Anyways, notice how we got booted back here and now that thing says level 2? That's just how this game works. You're not allowed to do everything. Oh, wow. I am enjoying Vector's uh, idle animations and Mighty's. I don't need a new partner. Mighty's working just fine. I'm glad I picked Vector. This character is uh, fucking ridiculous. Come on, give us another stage one. Yeah! Yeah, a lot of uh, progressing in this game kind of relies on luck of the draw. I'm pretty sure once the stage has been finished, like, it gets pulled out of the, uh, the, like, the selector, but... Go past the exit sign in the hub world and reload your save. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is a power up that actually uh, doesn't make a reappearance until Mania, surprisingly. It lumps together all of your rings into one big ring. So far, I'd rate this above Sonic 2. <laughs> Controversial statement there. Aesthetic. Yeah, I really do like the uh, the level aesthetics in this game a lot. I think after this we'll probably change our leader, or maybe after another stage or two. There's only six chaos rings. That's good. To know. how it, like, actually works in the other Sonic games on Genesis. Robotnik has the seven for plot purposes, I figured. I think 
even if their DJ Max had a total of like, what, three or four good games on it, maybe? And most of them were just ports of Genesis games. one per act of the arrows guide you to them. Okay, good. So you have to activate the level to start it. Oh. That power-up kind of threw me off for a second. That's true. Tiny, mighty. 
It still says Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I should probably fix that. Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna... Real quick. Uh, Knuckles. Chaotix, and then change the game to Knuckles Chaotix. There we go. Looks great at night. Yeah, I love the stage aesthetics in this so much. Wow, that looks really small on stream, but I don't think there's anything I can do to fix that at the moment. Um, maybe... Oh, that's how. That's how I can fix that. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Anyways, yeah, no, I love the stage aesthetics in this game. They are wonderful. I love how each platform is multicolored. Just this whole general, like, uh, green and purple aesthetic is really nice. this is about. Oh, come on. It's really hard to control. Okay, it's starting to drain my rings. I see. So that's like a risk versus reward kind of bonus. It's like... differently, their behavior may change, supplies to bosses too. Oh wow. This is like a really in-depth game. It's such a shame it's on a console that four people buy. Just 
just like how Sonic CD is like really good. It's one of the best Genesis Sonics, and yet it's on the Sega CD. Ooh, this one wants eight experience. All right. Sonic games from back then that didn't get a PC for it. I think maybe they were worried that like the, the PCs couldn't handle it or something. I have, I don't know. I genuinely just had like struggled to tell what I was. to be found on any collections like why won't Sega acknowledge this one that's my question you know oh yeah we were gonna switch characters scenario quest oh it didn't say it I can't even be like, okay, let's just end the stream for now, and we can just... Uh, let's see here. Um, file, reset. I don't believe I did hit uh, no save or anything like that. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I hit file one. It might be an emulator problem. In which case, it looks like we're going to be sticking with one character for the whole playthrough. Auto, please. <laughs> All right, doing this again. Oh well, at least now I have a good grasp of how the game works. And hey, there's a good chance we will get uh, randomly picked other stages. So that's something. Still kind of bumped though. What's the character attributes then? So Mighty can wall jump, and then Knuckles is wall climb. Uh, Vector is a double jump, it seemed like. Um, not really sure what SPO's deal is. And I'm 90% certain Charmy's like Tails, he can fly. Because that's how he works in uh, Heroes. Uh, 
SBO can stick to walls and ceilings, so movement is unhindered. That's actually kind of neat. Off on specific surfaces is a little frustrating. Charmy is in the play amazingly, but his movement is awkward and doesn't represent the gameplay very well. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna end up picking Charmy. And then there's uh there's two robo partners that you can get, but I don't believe you can is them without breaking the game first. Because that's uh, bomb and heavy, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. Damn, the movement's so fluid in this game. Okay, goodbye, Jay. I have to have a second, be a second player and use the hidden stage select, yeah. And if I remember right, they don't really function right. <laughs> heavy steel is that easy, yeah, heavy. And I don't know what's up with bomb. I, something to do with killing enemies, maybe? You know what bomb steel probably is? I'm gonna make a guess before you can send the message. Bomb, you throw at enemies and he kills them. Am I right? Which is probably why he's not a, uh, a playable character. Heavy is completely invulnerable! <laughs> Broken. gets hit, he explodes. It might destroy enemies, not sure, but it can also hit you. <laughs> you know, part of this level probably also serves to introduce, uh... Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. So far, my only issue with this game is that it's uh, kind of unforgiving as far as death goes. You're just booted from the stage immediately and thrown out. There's no, like, life system or anything. I guess at least acknowledge this game musically. Where? I mean, I don't doubt that they have, I just haven't noticed anything. Okay. Sonic Generation remixed this song right here for the collection. Oh! Hey, look, the first stage has a special stage. Oh, 
also, one of the skills uses a remix of the Chaotix Oh, that's neat. Why did Chaotix not have any representation in Generations outside of some music? Sega. <laughs> Recently, I was, uh, I was looking at the eShop and I noticed that, uh, Generations for 3DS was on sale, and it reminded me of how much of a missed opportunity that game was, you know? It could have been so cool if it had actually done what they set out to do and, like, shown off the, uh, portable games. Cool. But instead, it's, like, all remix, or it's all stages from, uh, like, uh, console Sonic games, except for a stage from Sonic Rush, and a stage that sort of plays like Sonic Colors DS, and I think that's literally it. Which is a shame, because, uh, Portable Sonic has quite a lot to offer. They could have done the advanced games and gotten, like, Music Land from Advance 2. That crazy ass like rocket ship level for rocket ship rocket ship level from Advanced One. Radius version had slightly better writing in the cutscenes. Can't say I ever paid attention to that, but this is Generations, so I don't doubt that. Generations is part of the uh, the jokey ones, and I'm I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of them. See, so hearing the other characters' elements, um, I'm honestly thinking Vector as like the permanent character for this playthrough. I don't understand whether modern Eggman in battle was Egg Emperor. Yeah, no, neither do I. They could have borrowed like something from the portable games, you know? Like fucking. Uh, what is the name of that thing? I know its name, or the name of the zone it's in, is like Exception Zone or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure from uh, Rush. Is that from 2003 or 4? But it doesn't make any sense because spoiler. Yeah, no, they could have gotten the final boss from Rush. They could have gotten the Egg Wizard from Rush Adventure. That's a thing. They could have borrowed anything from the advanced games. Yeah, no, Exception Zone is great. One of my favorite bosses in the series right there. could have gotten that would have been fucking amazing that would have made that version of the game like better than the console version they could have gotten i think i believe its name is non-aggression uh from uh advance 2 because that boss is fucking awesome Oh yeah, that's Advance 3. What's... Advance 2 was, uh, Area 52 or something like that. Um, and of course Advance 1 has the moon, which is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, Non-Aggression is one of the best boss fights. True Area 53, that's it. Non-Aggression, though, is one of the best boss fights that, um, the GBA Sonics have to offer. But yeah, they easily could have done, like, Advance... Or Game Gear, and then GBA, and then um, DS, and just done those three, and it, it would have been perfect, and everyone would have been happy with it, but instead, they got A stage from Rush, and then did, what, Radical Highway? Um, the beach level. Oh, that felt weird. But they did Radical Highway, the beach level from Adventure, uh, they did regular Green Hill Zone. Uh, they could have gotten Mecha um, Green Hill Zone from Chaos, which is really cool. Their Game Gear boss could have been fucking uh, Mac or Fang, whichever you prefer. The uh, the Weasel dude from Triple Trouble. They could have borrowed him. They could have borrowed uh, 
Silver Sonic. He was in one of the Game Gear ones. Um, yeah, the rival fight. They easily could have used Mac, but they didn't. Um, I don't really care for this, so I'm not going. to put a spell on, spin on the Green Hill Zone setting. Yeah, it was perfect. It was wonderful. They could have used the fucking train boss from, uh, from Triple Trouble. That was a neat boss. They could have changed it up and made it, like, something really cool. Because the concept is awesome. This, this, uh, second playthrough is clearly going much further. This stream has, uh, it's made a believer out of me. This might be my favorite Genesis Sonic game now. It's got, like, playable special stages. It's got really solid level design so far. Um, the concept's so good, it revived an unused song from Chaos. For the train bus? I actually did not know that. Six. should have been Sonic 1, uh, Game Gear, of course, and they could have, for Act 2, mixed in, like, bridge elements, or hell, for just the end of each act, they could have mixed in elements of bridge zone. Cool! Um, they could have mixed in bridge zone, and they could have, uh, like, the next thing that they should have represented in that game, that they did, of course, uh, should have been Chaos with Mecha Green Hill or something like that. I don't know, maybe start with Mecha Green Hill, who knows. Um, and then they should have done the train stage from uh, Triple Trouble. Those, like, those would have been perfect. Maybe do Mecha Green Hill Zone, Brick Zone, and the train stage. then Advanced, they should have used, like, the beach from Sonic Advanced, because it's the first level. And Advanced doesn't really have a whole lot interesting in it, in my opinion. It has, like, a ruin level. That one could be neat. Ooh, Techno Tower. And then, of course, Advanced 2, they should have used uh, the music stage, because that stage is fucking awesome already. Advance 3. I haven't really played much of that one, so. Or I guess more so, I haven't, I don't really remember much of it. I played it a bunch as a kid, but it hasn't really stuck with me over time. Stop and collect some rings. 
I also want a really good chance to clear this whole stage, so. Like starting out that this game wouldn't be as fast, but like, man, you can gain a lot of speed really quick. My favorite, bo two favorite boss fights in the series are 20 2011 CDs, Metal Sonic, and Sonic vs. Blaze and Rush. I mean, those are definitely amazing boss fights. Uh, my favorites in the series are probably, it's hard to say, um, Perfect Chaos from uh, Generations is one of my all-time favorite boss fights ever, period. Um, I also love Metal Sonic from Generations. Generations just had some fun boss fights for me. And Rush's normal final boss? Yeah. Wait, are you talking the, um, the Wrapped in Black dude, or are you talking the, uh, the guy who just ends off both of the individual Because I will admit, they're both good fights. The guy who ends off the story is, yeah, that guy's pretty cool. Wrapped in Black dude is just, like, amazing. For a lot of reasons. Honestly, uh, pick that I don't think most people would pick, but, uh, I have to, I have to say it, because, uh, no one talks about this. Dark Gaia, but specifically the Wii PS2 version of Dark Gaia, because they really dropped the ball on the, uh, the PS3 and Xbox 360 version of that fight. It's kind of straight up terrible. It's literally just a handful of quick time events. However, actually 1v1ing uh, Perfect Dark Gaia was really cool. I should mention, I am planning on streaming the, uh... I was about to call them before there, I know it. Um, I am planning on streaming uh, the Wii and PS2 version of the game separate from the Xbox 360 and PS3 version. Just because I think both games are so bizarre and separated from each other that uh, to just do one of them would kind of be unfair to it, you know? Is that my second lap of this one? Just one. 
Wow, we got the same stage that we did. I seem to remember there one there being one that I hated as a child. insane attacks I've ever seen, but it never felt unfair to me. Uh, like a really good arcade game. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I think it, it has something to do with, it's like his big final desperation move you're referring to, right? Not that one. The desperation move, I remember really hating as a child. Because, uh, I don't know, it always like really stressed me out. Traps you between two streams of lightning, and you have to very carefully balance between them. I remember that one. <coughs> That's the fight they should have used as the modern boss in generations. If you get hit, you can't run away because it follows you. Yeah, I remember that one. Anyways, the fact that that boss isn't in generations on 3DS is very stupid. You know what I feel like happened? It probably started with them being like, okay, we're gonna, like, we're going to, uh, make this game and it's gonna celebrate the portable games history. And Sega was like, okay, cool, you're greenlit. And then development team A for the console games was just like, uh, yeah, we have some unused ideas that we really wanted to use, so here, uh, you get to use these now. And they were like, what? But we wanted to do this. And they were probably like forced to. They could have worked completely in all two. Yeah, that's the thing. They wouldn't have had to have changed a whole lot about like rush levels. Oh yeah, I'm aware. I need one more of those chaotics. How do you get that 
one that's behind the spike. <laughs> awesome, got all of them. Just have to uh, finish the level now. Oh my god, this special stage is so nerve-wracking. Ah! There, that should be the end of it. Cool! Some real good stuff I had in most of the scene with the hidden stage select. I will have to remember to check, uh, take a look at that if I can, because I know that there's some weird stuff in this game. I'm just not quite sure what it is. Got the chaos ring. Awesome. We have four of the six. This looks like we probably are getting that alternate ending. Well. We're officially caught up. One more, or one of the more known things is glitch character with a bunch of stars. Yeah, no, uh, if I remember right, that character is like Sonic's old data from Crackers. Because the Sonic and Tails are still in this. <laughs> Surprisingly fun. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I was. But yeah, uh, thank you. I will be ending the stream off now. On real hard of the game, not crashing. Hardware. Anyways, that is enough. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs>